so a little bit about me. Um, been training for about five years now, probably two, maybe two and a half, which are a little more, like, not a little more, actually more serious, where I actually kind of figured out what I was doing. Um, and so, yeah, gonna hit a little posterior chain work today, a little bit of back, a little hamstrings, um, just a light Sunday night workout, and then uh, get some food. So, welcome to the channel, and I uh, hope you guys stick around and maybe learn a thing or two as we, as we go. I'm breaking down like this ain't nothing new. She wanna kick it, don't skip it. Let's say we rendezvous. Usually I don't trick up, pick up like one or two. Them daisies known to be deadly, especially if I love you. I'm grown impatient, I'm tired of waiting just for you. If we gon' trip, then we taking trips out to Malibu. My alley if you returning truth from a blowing nuke. A bomb crash and I'm slow asking to tell the truth. Taking off, yeah, I'll be on my way now. Feel it in the air, cause I'm in a better place now. I got it bad for you. Don't you ever trip about it. We can even passport it. You deserve it. You ain't even got to ask for it. Life's a marathon and I wouldn't want to fast forward. Uh. And for the love, it was back and forth like tennis. Indy down to Atlanta like every weekend. No matter what we had on the schedule. Progressing with every pedal. Momentum at speed of light. I need me like 20 medals. Yes. Taking off. Yeah, I'll be on my way now. Feel it in the air because I'm in a better place now. little back it went heavier on the deadlifts went a little lighter on the back just get some extra volume in for the week and then three sets of some hammer curls and three sets of some hamstring curls um, those are the only arm work I do but that's the only arm work I do in a week just because uh, I've been getting some tendonitis so I want to lay off the elbow a little bit um, I'm actually thinking about possibly competing in a bodybuilding show this year. Um, I've never done it before. And if that's something you would like to see me document the journey of, I would appreciate if you let me know in the comments down And uh, yeah, so I'll do a little bit of posing now just so you can kind of see my physique given I am a bit pumped up from the workout, but I also don't know how to pose, so we'll see. How
probably the, the real reason why most of you clicked on this video, so the, uh, the post-workout meal. So I personally intermittent fast. I have about 90 to 200 calories, or 100 to 200 calories um, of a post or pre-workout snack, and then I save the majority of my calories for the post-workout meal. So we're gonna have a mass, it's almost like OMAD pretty much, or it was one meal a day, or some people call it the warrior diet. Um, but today I saw Remington, on Remington James' channel a protein mac and cheese recipe, and I feel like having burgers and mac and cheese, so we're gonna make a chicken bacon mac and cheese lettuce wrap burger. And uh, I have about 2,000 calories to play with tonight, so should be pretty fun. I'll show you what we're, uh, what we're working with. So we got for the mac and cheese, 160 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk, which I just poured in here. Um, for the bacon, I'm gonna be using Oscar Mayer center cut bacon. It's 60 calories for two slices. Honestly, this is better macros than I've found for turkey bacon. Um, turkey bacon also just tends to have more fat, like per slice. It's always, important to look at the serving size. So we're gonna do three slices of the bacon. Um, just to kind of continue along the breakfast theme, I'm gonna do, there's only three sausages in this packet, but there, I have some more in the fridge. So we're gonna do five of these country style chicken breakfast sausages. They're 45 calories per link, five grams of protein. Um, and so for the mac and cheese, like I said, we got the unsweetened almond milk. Um, the recipe calls for three servings of this fat-free cream cheese that I found, and this is pretty insane. Um, it's 30 calories per serving, and literally, like, three grams of protein, four grams of fat, or er, four grams of carbs, and no fat, so we'll do three servings of that. And then his recipe calls for four servings of fat-free cheddar cheese, and I found so personally, I found that fat-free cheddar cheese tastes not good at all. Um, it kind of doesn't have a taste. You have to put salt on it to make it taste like cheese. Other than that, it has like a cheese texture. So what I prefer to use is this um, Cabot 75% uh, cheddar cheese, this premium white cheddar cheese, and the macros on this. So it's 60 calories per serving. The fat-free cheddar is 45 calories per serving. So it's really not that many more calories per serving. 2.5 grams of fat, one carb, and nine protein. So this is extremely high in protein. So uh, yeah, we'll get this cooking and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Um, should, be, should be good. Also for the pasta, we'll be using these traditional shirataki white yam noodles. These are the biggest diet hack I've found. Look, zero calories, zero grams of fat, 20 sodium, five carbs, and it pretty much is all what I read is insoluble fiber and zero grams of protein. So even though this does say zero, I personally, I track it as 20 calories um, because of the five carbs. I just say each carb has four calories, so 20 calories. Um, really that's up for debate that's personally how i do it and i just stay consistent with it so biggest diet hack if you're not already using those so we also got our two uh ground chicken patties as well these are 110 calories per four ounces of chicken um and so each of these is half a pound eight ounces so it's going to be 440 calories total and probably north of 100 grams of protein just in this chicken alone. So this meal is going to be very high in protein. So pro tip for grilling burgers, always sear the outsides first. 
um, creates for a nicer crust. Um, I'm gonna be cooking these chicken burgers for about nine minutes, five minutes searing on this side and then flip it and four minutes on the other. And then I'll toss these sausages on right at the end. All right, so what we're working with, we got two of the half pound grilled chicken patties, the turkey breakfast sausages and the bacon, the mac and cheese, some onions and some lettuce, which I actually use lettuce wraps instead of, um, I prefer to use lettuce wraps instead of burger patties, just or burger buns, just because it saves me the carbs that I can use for ice cream and uh, cookies for dessert. So that's just me. Um, I find lettuce wraps to be perfectly satisfying. So let's get into the food. Um, I added a little bit of parsley um, and a little bit of black pepper because uh, spices always add another little kick to the meal. So got my blue light glasses on. Let's give this a shot. Oh, that is so good. It's creamy, tastes like, oh, that definitely satisfies any mac and cheese craving I have. It's creamy, it's cheddar-y, that 75% sharp cheddar, that's the way to go. The parsley adds a little nice little kick. Oh, that's fire. And then, um, yeah, let's see. I assembled a, a little burger. We got bacon, we got mac and cheese, we got cheddar. Um, and some chicken, so let's give this, uh, let's get into this. Oh, that is so fire. I'm gonna be making this meal over and over and over again. Give this one a shot, guys. High protein mac and cheese, 100%. All right, guys, time for uh, time for dessert. So, uh, show you what you got. We're gonna finish up tonight's macros with uh, one enlightened frozen hot chocolate bar. It's 90 calories, seven grams of protein. Uh, one pint of Nix vanilla ice cream. This stuff is amazing. Better than Halo Top and enlightened, in my opinion, for the vanilla, for sure. 60 calories a serving, three grams of protein, four grams of sugar, and a lot of fiber, so that. And uh, we're also gonna have this six ounce cookie filled with peanut butter chips, chocolate chips. Um, yeah, this thing is massive. And so recipe for that is actually on my Instagram. So go check it out over there. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that full day of eating, more interesting um, if it fits your macros recipes coming on the channel in the future. So stay tuned for that. Um, and so a little bit more about me. Um, so I personally, I graduated from college last year and I've been lifting, like I said, for about five years, probably the past two have been more dialed in and serious where I figured out what I was doing. Um, I currently work in the financial services industry in New York, so fitness is not my full-time job, and I've had to balance working out at like 4.45 in the morning or crazy times late night. Um, and so if you're interested in that kind of thing, um, how to balance fitness with um, so many other aspects of life, consider liking, subscribing, follow me on Instagram. I've learned so much over the years in terms of diet and nutrition just from online research. And so I hope to share that all with you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know any comments, any feedback, and please let me know um, if you think you'd be interested in seeing me document a journey to compete this October. So thank you for sticking around this long and uh, yeah, stay tuned.